Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install uh, Microsoft Office 2019 through the Volume License Service Center. If you don't know what that is or what I'm talking about, this video is probably not for you. This is if you install Microsoft Office on a lot of computers because you maybe work in an IT department at a university or an organization um, and you've probably ran into a problem because they're doing it different now. Before you would just go download the installer file that you could put on a disk and uh, be on your merry way with that disk. They're doing it a little different and this took me a little while to figure out. So hopefully I can save you some time and frustration with this. So the first thing you want to do, go ahead and sign into your uh, VLSC account or your Volume License Service Center account where you can access, uh, where you can actually access the product keys. Um, what you're going to do when you get your product keys, and by the way, the one I'm, I'm doing that you probably will want to do as well, is the full Office Professional Plus 2019. So don't make the same mistake I did and grab this key here, the first one you see. Go down here to where your actual key is. This one is for setting up if you're going to do it through the server, and I'm not going to do it that way. So go ahead and grab this key, copy it, and then open up Notepad. Uh, and paste it in Notepad or Word or somewhere where you can retrieve it later. Um, and then we'll worry about that in a future step. Now in the next step, you're going to want to download the Office Deployment Tool. And you're going to get there by going to this website, which I will link below. And then you're going to download and install it. And then once you have it downloaded and installed, this is going to pop up. And you're going to navigate to your C drive. And then when you navigate to your C drive, you're going to make a new folder under there. And you're going to call it Office Setup, exactly like you see it. Now I'm going to say Office Setup too because I already have an Office Setup for whenever I did this the first time. But just for the purpose of showing you, I'm going to go ahead and click Office Setup 2 and place it there. I'm going to say OK. And it's going to tell us Files Extracted Successfully. And we'll click OK on that. Okay, after you save the files in your Office Setup folder, you can come over here and delete these configuration files because you won't be needing them. All you need for right now is this setup file. And now what we're going to do is set up our configuration file. So um, you're going to navigate over to this website that I'll link below. It's just TechSoup. It's been super helpful in figuring out this whole thing. But they've got links here where you can download the configuration file. So depending on which version you want, uh, I'm personally going to go 64-bit. All of our computers where I work are 64-bit. So instead of just clicking on it and downloading it straight into the Downloads folder, I want to right-click on it, Save Link As, and then choose our Office Setup folder that we placed on the C drive. Now I already have it there, but just for the purposes of showing you, I'm just going to resave it there. Now we're ready to set up the configuration file with our product key. So find the, the configuration file. You're going to right click, open with, notepad. And then right here where it says your PID key, go ahead and paste in your, your product key right here. And then after you do that, save it. And then close out of it. Now we're going to rename it. So just right click, rename and just call it configuration. Now if you have extensions to show, like if this box is checked right here and it says .xml, be sure that stays. Okay, now for the final step. What I did was put the office setup folder that I created, I put it on a flash drive and I moved it over to the computer that I'm going to install Office 2019 and then I placed it here just in the C drive. doesn't really matter where you put it. You could put it in on the desktop or in documents. doesn't matter because you can just delete it once you're through installing. So once you have it, uh, go ahead and click into it. And then now that we're into it, we see our setup application and our configuration file. Those are the only two we want. Now click up in the address bar from this location and type CMD Enter. That opens the command prompt. Now we're going to put in a command to actually download it from the internet. So you need to make sure you have an internet connection. So I'm just going to type setup space slash download space configuration.xml enter. Now you're not going to see anything happen, but, um, but what it's doing is going out to 
to the internet, going out to Microsoft servers and grabbing that and installing it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. This process could take 20, 30 minutes, um, but I'm just going to let it run. And then when it's finished, I'll unpause the video. Okay, so it looks like it finished downloading and it's been less than 10 minutes. So really it didn't take that long at all. Now what we want to do is install it by running this command line. Setup space slash configure configuration dot XML enter. And then now it's going to work on installing it. And this process could take a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video for now. I'm unpausing it here just to show you what it looks like as it's installing. Uh, it's, I don't know, been roughly five minutes or so, and still waiting on it to finish installing. Okay, about another four or five minutes passed, and now it's installed. So it didn't take long at all. So let's go ahead and close all of our files here, or minimize, and open up Word. Now keep in mind, if you have an existing version of Microsoft Office, it'll just upgrade it. It won't create it as a separate. Uh, it won't create it as a separate version, so it'll actually remove the old version. Okay, and this will pop up. It'll ask if you want to activate it. Just make sure you're connected to the internet and say next. Now remember, we put our product key in the configuration file, so you don't have to do what you are probably used to doing, where you have to go um, here to file and account, and then typically you'd have to come here and, and input the product key but that's already done for you in the configuration file, which is one nice thing with all these extra steps, one less thing you have to worry about. So that's how you install Microsoft Office 2019 using a volume license. It's a lot of steps. I don't know why they do it, do it that way now, or before you could just burn it to a CD or a flash drive, but um, that's the best way that I've found. I created a notepad document here with instructions for myself that I actually put into the folder that I care, that I put onto the computers just to make it easier because it has um, it has the command line uh, commands here. I'll actually copy and paste this below in the video so that way you can take it maybe and put it in your own, um, put it for your own records. I hope that helps. If there's any part of this that's confusing, I apologize, um, but feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer any questions. And if you found this video helpful, please show your support by clicking the like button and help my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.